Animals, 16 through 20. Burros, donkey, donkeys, burro. Burros, donkey, donkeys, burro. Tigres, tiger, tigers, tigre. Tigres, tiger, tigers, tigre. Toros, bull, bull is toro. Toros, bull, bull is toro. Elefante, elephant, elephant, elefante. Elefante, elephant, elephant, elefante. Serpiente, snake. Snake serpiente, serpiente, snake, snake serpiente. How are we going to remember that burro means donkey? All right. Now let me preface this by saying uh, burritos are not made out of donkey. They're not. They're made out of nice meat. So anyway, uh, our word burrito literally trained like the burrito, the thing you get at a restaurant, literally means little donkey. And and why is that? Again, it's not called little donkey because they're made with donkeys. But uh, if you look at the shell, it's kind of a light brown and they're kind of thick and short. So the color and the shape kind of reminds people of a donkey. So a burrito, a burrito is a, means little donkey. Tigre is easy. It just looks like tiger, but instead of ending in ER, it ends in RE. How are we going to remember that Toro is bull? Well, you might have seen in cartoons or on movies the bullfighter, the matador, when he's uh, in the ring fighting the bull, he'll say Toro, Toro. Literally, what he's saying is bull, bull. Or there's a Toro lawnmower. Some of you might have one of those at home. And it's the perfect name for a lawnmower because it, uh, a bull is a big, powerful animal that eats grass, and they named their lawnmower Toro, which means bull because a, a lawnmower is a big powerful thing that eats grass. So toro means bull. Elefante just looks like elephant but in Spanish you never have a ph. Anytime you have a ph like phone or elephant it always turns into an f so it's elefante. Now how are we going to remember that serpiente is snake? Well that sort of looks like our word serpent. Everybody say serpent. Serpent. Now say serpiente. Serpiente. Cool. So serpent means snake.